This video is sponsored by Teslong Digital Borescopes. Here's a pistol borescope Glock 19 barrel, and this is what it looks like inside the barrel of this Glock 19. They also make these for rifles. You can see all the rifling, the fouling, carbon buildup, even scratches with this device. This is HD quality video that I captured on my laptop. It's also available with iPhones and Androids. Also has Wi-Fi availability. They have a variety of attachments with both flexible and firm illuminated cameras with different size mirrors. So if you're interested in taking a deeper look into your barrels, both rifle and handgun, check them out at teslong.com. Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we have another Choose Only One video and we are focusing on your favorite CCW handgun caliber. And I'm going to feature 10, please don't say, oh, nine millimeter and walk away. I'm showing 10 different calibers, 10 different guns, and hopefully you'll make your choice and it'll be an educated choice as I know it will be. This was actually a suggestion from a viewer and I'm going with it because I think it's a great topic. But the last Choose Only One video, we focused on 45 ACPs and it went down pretty much how I thought it would. 1911s and I'm calling it a tie with the CZ97 BD. And those are two platforms, if you will, or two handguns that are definitely worthy for some of the best in 45 ACP. But today, CCW caliber chamberings, so let's go. Is your choice the 22 long rifle? 40 grain bullet right here, and the gun I'm showing is a Caltech P17. Ambidextrous controls has 16 round mags. It's a light recoil shooting round. The slide is light, the trigger is light, right around three and a half pounds. You know, it's an easy, Way to stay on target. A lot of people say their wife or their significant other enjoys the 22 long rifle primarily because of the low recoil it offers. How about the 22 Magnum? Once again, 40 grain bullet moves very fast, much louder than the 22 long rifle. And here I've got a North American Arms Pug. People would pocket carry this, use it as a backup gun. So lightweight, easy to control, and it is available. Just like nothing put it in the pocket and there it is you are now armed with five shots of 22 magnum how about the 32 acp round 71 grain bullet hollow points center fire round a little more reliable and what i have here is a c camp lws 32 holds six shells in the mag one in the chamber seven plus one in a little package like this i think people would pocket carry this as well and people have faith in the 32. There are some people that are diehard 32 ACP fans, and there are also a lot of diehard Seacamp fans as well. Here we have a 380 ACP 90 grain hollow point right here. The 380 ACP micro handguns used to be extremely popular. People were chasing after them, they love it. And Ruger kicked it up a bit with the LCP Max. 10 round mag plus one, you're looking at 11 rounds of 380 ACP. I think that is no joke. But the fans of the 380 ACP, they are out there. And I'm wondering how the 380 ACP will do with this choose only one video. So if that's your choice, certainly let me know. I think most people are going to choose nine millimeter. I'm not sure though. This is a 124 grain jacketed hollow point. Also, 115 grain, 147 grain. The availability of ammo with 9mm defensive loads has really expanded. But I've got the SIG P365. A lot of people love this. You know, with the evolution of all the double stack 9mm handguns, they have become so normal for, for people to move from single stack to double stack. And this with a 10 or 12 or 14 round capacity has really taken off in the CCW world. Perhaps 38 Special is your choice. 158 grains, a little heavier than the 9mm, that's for sure. Also, plus P loads are available. Now, people love revolvers. They, they prefer CCW. Give me a revolver. And uh, what I have here is the Taurus Defender 856 Ultralight. It's a six shot. This has the three inch barrel, but the two inch barrel model, it's so easy to throw in the pocket and, or wear it on the hip. A lot of people do that and then they trust the plus P loads for self-defense and I'm certainly not going to argue with that. 
There are still many people who prefer the 40 Smith & Wesson. Self-defense loads in 155 grain or 180 grain. That's no joke. And it was always considered the, the balance in between a 9mm and a 45 ACP. People say it's snappy. I'm not falling into that mindset. But here we've got a Springfield XD40. This is a service model with a 4-inch barrel. They also make several subcompacts. Many manufacturers do chambered in 40, and people love it. And they say, you know what? Keep your 9mm. Give me the 40 all day long. Much like the 40 Smith & Wesson, here we have the larger case 10mm. Many manufacturers coming out with 10mm, and that's because people are going with it. Now, this is a 200-grain bonded soft point. Also 180 grain, similar to the 40. But the gun I'm showing here is a Springfield XDM Elite Compact chambered in 10 millimeter with 10 round mags. Very smooth shooting handgun. You know, the 10 millimeter will punch you back a little bit, but if you don't mind that, you know, it's, it's a great round and a lot of people are making that their choice. Is it yours? I know this one will be hot. 45 ACP. 230 grain jacketed hollow point. What a great round this has been around forever. A lot of people still carry it. They trust it with their lives and they should. There's no doubt that's a lot of lead slinging into somebody in defensive situation. I've got a Ruger American Compact gray model right here. Seven round mags. Awesome handgun. I think the American series that Ruger came up with is their best series yet. I know people argue that point but 45 ACP. Is that what you're choosing? If you're a guy who carries 357 Magnum, you're someone who doesn't play around. It has so much energy. And once again, people love revolvers. They said, I don't need that big magazine with all those rounds. I'll take a six shot like this, the Rock Island Armory AL 3.0, and I'll take care of business. I don't have to worry about anything else, you know, any failures with magazine and feed and everything else. But nonetheless, 357 Magnum for the serious player who says, not me and not today. So what's your favorite CCW handgun chambering? That was a lot of fun. I brought out a lot of guns, opened a lot of boxes of ammo, and now I have to put it all away. But it's worth it because I'm hopefully going to get great feedback from you guys. And remember, choose only one. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.